Is it normal for a video to have Dobu the likes than it does views? Star Wars Outlaw. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy. But they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Oh. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Ah. We need it last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Oh. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Jabba, right? Well, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Outlaws pre-order available now. I'm gonna say something and it might upset some people. If you take the lightsabers out of Star Wars, it's boring. The world building in the Star Wars universe I don't think is very good. And if you compare the depth and like the grit of the world building of Star Wars versus Dune, it's not even in the same universe. Why would I want to play a Star Wars game where you're not a Jedi and you're not some sort of like crazy fucking badass dude like this is just some space bounty hunter shit who cares like who like who is this for because like as somebody like i mean i'm not like a look 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 i'm not like the biggest star wars fan i like star wars i've seen all the star wars movies i know all the characters i think it's great but i'm not like a i'm not a massive fan but i'm a star i like star wars sure yeah sure i like star wars this doesn't appeal to me at all. I mean, again, what was the best part of Rogue One? The end scene with Darth Vader. Because it was fucking badass. It was not even close. It was so cool. And so it's like, what, what are we really talking about? Like, I just, like, again, I just, I don't know who this is for. Because I know that it's not for me. Maybe I might try this game out. It might have good gameplay or something like that. I tried out Jedi Survivor and it was okay. It was a solid eight game. It was like maybe a seven to an eight game. I'd say somewhere around there. It was all right. But it wasn't like... It's safe. Yeah, it, these games, they feel like they're so safe. I want to see a savage Star Wars game where you play as a Sith Padawan before the rule of two and you have to actually like do all kinds of like crazy bad shit and you can turn on the sith or do other things like the force unleashed yeah yeah with um what was his name uh, was that the one with star killer i believe it's been quite a uh, quite a long time yeah yeah well that's something that's more interesting to me this game like am i crazy 
like what, do y'all do y'all agree with what I'm saying or like what, what do y'all think? Where was the where was that one? Not it's not that one. That other Star Wars trailer. Star was it like Eclipse? And I remember seeing that and I was like, that was fucking insane. That was really cool. Yeah. This got canceled? Is that true? This is what happened yesterday. We got put on the back burner. And they still got the goofy shit in this one, too. Like... Bro, how can you get excited for that outlaw game whenever you saw this? I mean, it... But how, how is it even possible? This is fucking sick. How the fuck can you get excited for any Star Wars game after seeing this? Like, I see this shit, and I'm like, this is the coolest fucking game I've seen. This is like, this is what I would imagine, you know, Star Wars to be, right? No gameplay? Oh, yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, the other one didn't have gameplay either. But, like, the premise of this is so fucking cool. And it's like, how can I possibly have any sort of excitement for, like, some bullshit like this versus this? I mean, this is some fucking, like, bro, remember what I was telling y'all about, like, soft modern? This is some fucking Dragonflight story writing. Man. Soft, mo bro. And it's like, maybe I'm just not the target audience. You know what I mean? Fuck. As if the gamers are mostly kids. Well, no, it's like, but I think that like, I think that if you showed this to some 12 year old boy, he would think this is the coolest fucking thing. I bet you, if, if you went and you t went to a middle school, showed them the two trailers, and it's like, which one do you want to play? I bet if you asked every kid there, most of them would say Star Wars Eclipse. The Eclipse got no gameplay? Oh, this doesn't have gameplay either. I'm not talking about, listen, the gameplay for Outlaws could be incredible. It could be amazing. It could be, wow, it's so good. But... I'm talking about, like, the premise of the game. The vibe of the game. The grit of the game. I'm sorry to say, but I feel like this just clears and it's not even close. It's like, this is like watching Dark Souls and this is like watching, uh, Teletubbies. And this is, gentlemen, gaming in the year 2000. 
2024. Yes. Gaming in the year 2024. I got it. You can get it for the low price of $69.99, or you can subscribe for $18 and play early with Ubisoft Premium. And then you thought that was good. Let's get down to the different editions. The base game. So they're adding, if you want to play this game three day early access, wait, a season pass? What the hell is a season pass? Wait, two DLCs that will release after launch. Keep exploring Star Wars, the Jabba's Gambit exclusive mission available at launch. Wait, so they're, they're paywalling. So even if you pay $70, you don't even get all the content. This is a real cock, guys. So, there are... So, basically, you buy the game, and there is a mission in the game that is artificially locked because you only paid $70. Oh, my God. And this is 100... Guys, look at the price difference here. $70 versus $110. What's the difference there? $40 fucking dollars. That is insane. $40? Just to play the game three days early and have an extra mission and a cosmetic. You have to buy Helldivers 2 just to play this shitty version of Helldivers three days early. And you get a digital art book and then some sort of other cosmetic. Including cosmetics again, you get everything else, obviously, right? And then you get, again, the ultimate edition which is, uh, you know, if you subscribe to Ubisoft. So it's very clear that they're trying to use these high prices as a uh, funnel to get people to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus. This is really impressive. You don't see dick eating like this every day. You know, there's each there are different studios that blaze horizons with different types of uh, video games, right? Like, Skyrim was, like, a real, you know, like, it really opened the horizons for, like, you know, RPGs. It was a next-gen game at the time. You had something like Elden Ring or Dark Souls, World of Warcraft. Well, I guess Ubisoft, they just like to figure out... This is, in my opinion, one of the worst pricing themes that I have ever seen. You have Day 1 DLC that's paywalled by $40, an artificial three-day early access window that adds no value or nothing. It just capitalizes on FOMO, which I don't really care about that much. I don't really, I mean, somebody wants to do that, they're stupid. You know, Ubisoft is probably better with their money than they are. So, you know, they're doing the person a favor by taking their money away from them. I don't really give a shit about that. But with this, the season, dude, that's crazy. Single, there is, guys, Single player, early access, pre-order, day one DLC. Over $100. This is a new low until they release the game after this. If you're making a game and you're investing a huge amount of money into it, and it's very obvious that they invested a lot of money into this game, you need to target an audience that is so broad because if you have a target a target market and you can only make you can only project to make 50 million dollars out of this target market what do you have to do you have to increase that spread don't you and that's the problem is that star wars games and other games are becoming more and more bland they are incorporating more buzzword features like survival mechanics, base building. Not every game needs base building, but they just keep adding more and more into these games, hoping that if they cast a net so wide that they're going to catch all the fish. But what ends up happening with a game like Skull and Bones is the fish just go right through the rope because the net's too big. And they end up catching almost no one. So, like, whenever you're making a game as big as... <sighs> like the Blizzard survival game. The game's development is seven years. Seven years ago, Fortnite wasn't even popular. 
Because Fortnite was popular in 2018, and seven years ago was 2017. So how can you make a decision seven years into the future? The only way that you can do that is if you have such a... Like, your gameplay experience is fucking flawless. Like, Grand Theft Auto, or like Baldur's Gate 3. Like, and, and you know it doesn't matter. If Baldur's Gate 3 comes out in 10 years from now, it would still be popular. And if it came out 10 years ago, it would still be popular. Like Elden Ring. Because the greatest video games of all time are truly timeless. The graphics might suck, and it would be nice if some of them got remastered. But otherwise, Super Smash Bros. Melee was an amazing game in 2001, and people are still playing it now. So you have these developers that are sinking literally hundreds of millions of dollars into these games and then the market changes consumer tastes change and now you have to course correct 140 million dollars how the fuck do you course correct 140 million dollars eight years after the fact five years after the fact it's impossible so this business model was doomed to fail and it's especially doomed to fail whenever it's being uh taken advantage of by people that are only looking for these like massive, you know, nine nine digit profit margins. You don't. Yeah, exactly. It's too it's unironically too big to succeed. You're right. 